What's going on folks? Let's check out the latest patch notes for Cat's Eye XI. This is the first patch notes to include the Wings Arrow Warriors, so let's see what's new for them and for everyone else. Let's go. Alright, so Cat's Eye XI patch notes. Domain Invasion. Helga's Evasion and other defensive stats have been reduced. Okay. Uh, optimizations for have reduced for Optimizations have reduced input latency in heavy combat areas by Milford. Optimizations have reduced input latency for heavy combat areas. Well, that sounds good. Wings Arrow Warriors now receive a large bonus to their stats and survivability based on daily quests completed by Milford. Damage taken minus percent, region plus, refresh plus, HP percent plus, MP percent plus. This is by way in Domain Invasion. Attack plus, accuracy, magic accuracy, magic attack. Um, a large bonus. This is to compensate for the fact that they don't have any trust to use, I bet. So, they're basically juiced up for a Domain Invasion based on the number of daily completed quests. Which makes sense. You do more daily completed quests for the free trip and for extra bonus rewards. So, you do those dailies and get the bonuses and then perform better. Now, the question is, do they perform better than other groups with trusts and therefore will they get more credit or less credit but who knows who knows how that's calculated just putting it out there novice trials novice trials have been created for the following items tropical punches uh pike pelty mist silk cape and trancing ribbon armature's lace leaping boots oh nice uh katayama optical earring Geelong staff serpet clippius Rabbit Charm, Felling Axe, Gassan, Fungus Hat, and Metal Leggings. Let's see if that is available to view. Let's uh, switch over. There we go. Alright, so. Alright, so if you don't know, if you're new to the server, which you very well may be, Novice Trials. Melee in Sabina offers Novice Trials to upgrade your existing equipment with augments. The quest is available for all character types from level 10, and there is no cooldown. A quest is available for all character types, there it says right there, level 10 and no cooldown. Players are assigned a list of enemies to defeat, and message track, messages track their objectives. Some new encounters will require items to spawn uh, and may be level capped. Uh, HQ versions of crafted items uh, can be traded to melee alongside the augmented normal quality version, transferring those augments to the HQ version. So, if you have done one with, say, um, a crafted item, let me find a crafted item, crafted item here, scale mail is a crafted item. If you have a scale mail plus one, then you could trade that with your, if you have scale mail already upgraded, um, then you trade that with your scale mail plus one, and then you should have the uh, augments transferred over to your normal quality, to your high quality. Uh, the current trial must be must first be completed. Okay, so you must not have any uh, trials going at the time, I guess. Uh, unlike adept reforging, players may complete novice trials on any job. Okay, so uh, the ones in question: um, rabbit charm, dex one, agility one, and evasion plus one. Um, those are the augments in addition to the, I guess, the steel plus one. So that makes, uh, it makes that, that is actually a pretty good neck piece to wear. I mean, steel already is good, good, but you don't necessarily need to wear it unless you're stealing. But now, after killing 20 step hairs and 15 wadi hairs, that's a usable item. But it's usable basically until spike necklace. The spike necklace is strength and dexterity, not agility, so you may still want to. Beast Stinger with damage plus three. That's pretty good. Um, Pelty is one of the new ones. Um, MP recovered, intelligence mined. Clippius is one of the new ones. HP and shields are uh, armager's lace, HP plus two. This is minor stuff, but kind of cool. Tropical punches. Tropical punches are, are well, right here. It says uh, damage plus one. Accuracy plus 10, that moves it to damage plus 3, counter plus 2, and the HQ version is, um, f wait, fruit punches is the, is the base one, right, yeah, tropical punches is the higher one, but tropical punches plus 1, if you can manage to do that, 
would be accuracy 12, damage plus 5. That will take you pretty much all the way to level 30. Maybe even more. So that's pretty darn good, actually. If you can get a Tropical Punch, it's plus 1. Do those quests, uh, 20 Mandragora and 20 Pygmaeoi. How do you pronounce that, by the way? Pygmaeoi. Pygmaeoi? Whatever. Um, let's see here, what else was from that list? Miss Silk Cape. Cure Potency, Spell Casting Time. Jalong Staff. HP 5, Regen 1. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sir Pet was one of them, damage plus 5. Ooh. Sir Pet is already level, is level 12, damage 32. Damage 37 at level 12, that's huge. Strength and Intelligence requires a Rambling Ram, which is level 15 level sync. East Ron Fair. Huh. And trade uh, Baked Apple times 3 to the oversized hoof print. Pike is one of them, damage plus 5. Man. Level 12, having a 33 damage uh, uh, pole arm at level 12, or level 11. That's pretty cool. Felling Axe, damage plus 3. That's good for um, Beastmaster for sure. Metal Leggings. Alright. Um, what am I missing? I went to... Let's go back to Discord here. Tropical Punches, Pike, Pelty, Mist Silk Cape, and Trancing Ribbon. Armagers, Lace, Sleeping Boots, Katayama. Katayama over here. Um, Serpet, Clippius, Rabbit Charm, Felling Axe, Gasan, Fungus Hat, metal, metal Leggings. Fungus Hat, that's one. Haste plus one. That's pretty cool. Felling Axe, Gasan, Damage plus three, Eminity plus two. That's it. That's pretty cool. Huh. Those might actually be worth doing. Especially the Tropical Punches, in my opinion. Even more so if you have the plus one. I mean, you can still do it before getting the plus one, but um, the Fruit Punches is, are, are already a, a drop you need to get from an NM. And you need to uh, have Leathercraft 81. If you had maxed Leathercraft, that is 125 Leathercraft, then you would be at a tier two. Yeah, can't get a tier 5 or tier 3 on those, but so a tier 2, you'd have a 25% chance. You need to 4 to 6 fruit punches to give yourself a good chance to get that tropical punches plus 1. Anyway, that's cool. Let's go back. Alright, so, uh, Trial for Carbon Abyss has been changed to Elementals via in, a, in the Lothane Plateau, Konstadt, and Tarangi. Okay. Interaction and behavior of melee has been improved. Okay. Garbaggio. Uh, the rate of common items has been reduced at higher tiers. Um, okay. The rarity of Galatia and Blessments has been corrected. Garbaggio's animations now display only to the player currently interacting. Okay. Crystal Warrior and Wings Arrow Warrior experience points. The daily repeating page reduction of Fields of Valor has been removed under the following conditions. The highest level party member must be less than six levels below the page's maximum level range. Example, Quiffim number one, uh, 26 to 29, will give full XP until the highest party level, highest level party member reaches 23. So if you are under camping the, the page, it will give full XP. It will start to give reduced XP once they become a kind of a, a more a low T and even match and decent challenge. Regular Cat's Eye Ace characters remain unaffected. Daily repeating page reduction for Wings Fields of Valor and Grounds of Valor has been removed under the following conditions. The highest level party member must be less than six levels below the page's maximum level range. Does that include uh, level synced? So if you are level synced and you have a level sync of a level 75 player level sync down, it doesn't kind of count the level 75 player, right? It probably makes it, it probably uh, looks at the level sync level, right? You'd think? I assume so. 
uh, items and synthesis. Anniversary ring now gives the full amount of experience points for... Okay. Anniversary ring. Now gives the full amount of experience points for Wings, Arrow Warriors, and Crystal Warriors. Loxley. I had an anniversary ring. I got one for the referral awards. By the way, click the link in the description below to sign up for the server. And when you, after you choose your uh, chosen uh, character type, put in Andy Plays Games with two Z's as your referral character so we can both get free items. One of those items is the anniversary ring, which I've already used on my referral reward and it was at the reduced amount okay it's fine it's fine Jatoin and Eardall staff have been corrected have the correct charm rate plus bonuses okay charm plus rate bonuses synthesis recipes has been added for the solarettes synthesis recipes has been added for solarettes it wasn't there before. Decent, this recipe has been added for Raptor Strap and, and Raptor Strap plus one. Okay. Uh, monsters, the drop rate of rabbit charms has been increased significantly. The drop rate of rabbit charm has been increased significantly. Monk mobs no longer uh, punch with two handed weapons. The monk, monk mobs no longer punch with two handed weapons. Two-handed weapon damage in each fist. Well, that's nice. Missions and quests. AMK white, blue, and black coral keys are now repeatable if previously completed. A The winged resurgence title screen will now display for the correct players. So, the title screen that I normally get uh, has that. Maybe it doesn't have that unless I am on my Woo characters or Woo account. Um, players now traverse the ice barrier in the Ulegrand range through the use of a fire cluster. That's nice. That's pretty cool. That makes sense, too. Uh, this system, the job ability Soul Eater, was fixed upstream and has now been re-enabled. Cool. Wings Arrow Warriors now have access to iMog and iChef while in towns. Okay. Let's confirm that. I'm on my character right now. Let me go... I say I chef, but it's chef. Hey, look, chef shop. These items are more expensive though, um, compared to say the um, Curio Moogle. Although some of these items aren't available on Curio Moogle. But uh, by the way, the Curio Moogle can be accessed on the Wings Arrow Warrior. You have to talk to the shady dealer, which is nearby a Curio Moogle. And those shady dealers will first ask for a stack of uh, flint stones, and then they will ask for a beetle shell, and then they will ask for a uh, copper ore. I assume it's the same for everybody else. I mean, I assume. So yeah, those three items, well, one stack and then two singles, uh, and then you'll get access to the curio vendor moogle. Um, added more items to the ephemeral box, hollowed water, damascene cloth, bomb carrot, and iron bread. And looks like that is it. Uh, so land sand boat. Uh, thanks to the contributors land sand boat for this week's extra upstream fixes. That's all for this week. Welcome to our new players. Thank you for playing on Cat's Eye. Yes, let's uh, do a search here. Search all. 307 on at the moment for the morning that's not too bad i know there was um upwards of 500 almost 600 um as the highest i've seen on it once which is pretty huge and so um i guess that's about it click the link in the description below to sign up with the server, choose your account type, 
And then in the referral box at the after at the next page, put in Andy Plays Games with two Z's. And you will be able to get yourself an anniversary ring eventually. I won't get another one. But you will. So, enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.